Looking to make a collective push forward. The Springboks have enjoyed two years of progress under coach Heineken Meyer. Last year, they won every game, apart from the two against World Rugby's number one side, New Zealand. The World Cup in England is now just 18 months away. And 1995 World Cup winner Chester Williams fills the box, need to find another level this year to challenge the All Black superiority. I think that will give a psychological advantage um, to us uh, over New Zealand. That means uh, that we can believe then that we can beat them, uh, especially in crucial games um, where New Zealand know they can beat us home and away. Uh, and we still have to get that right where we say, you know, we can beat New Zealand at any time, any venue. But that could be easier said than done. The call to arms of a few of South Africa's old guard could be seen as lacking faith in the younger generation. But given South Africa's pack remains relatively young, some of that experience can play a key role in development. Yes, that's why I'm so excited about this team. You know, we've got a lot of youngsters, especially in the forwards, um, the back line. We have also young players and, and a little bit of experience, you know. And I think um, the key thing for us now is just to see how we can um, manage those, those players throughout the, se the season and for next year. One person who has returned from retirement is Victor Matfield, here on the left with his fellow 2007 World Cup winner, Bakis Borta. At 36, that decision could yet backfire on the most decorated of Springboks. But rugby writer Zelim Nell feels the lock can still bring real value to the box setup. Well, I mean, the, the return of Victor Matfield is obviously a very contentious issue. Um, but one, one of the upsides of having Victor back is that tactically he's extremely astute. And that's something that uh, the Springboks have been lacking in the, in the last two seasons because of injuries and guys leaving to go play overseas. What Victor will bring is an improvement to our lineout. Our decision making tactically will be a lot better. And that'll make us tougher to, to score against. With Victor there running the lineout, it will be much more difficult to get field position on. And that puts us in a position to beat any team, including New Zealand. Even the most ardent of Springbok fans would concede that Heineken Mayer's side are far from the finished product. But that's not to say the Springboks can't win what would be a third World Cup. I honestly do believe uh, that uh, South Africa can do it. Uh, we've always been one of the, the top countries when it comes to Rugby World Cup. The other team we need to look at is obviously is Australia. Um, but I still think South Africa has got the best chance of beating New Zealand. Another factor that could dampen South Africa's charge over the next 12 months is the high injury count, possibly to some key players, that is likely during the upcoming Super Rugby campaign. But that's something that Springbok management can do little about. And if South Africa can continue their upward curve over the next 12 months and break their New Zealand hoodoo, then they'll be in prime position going into World Cup year. Dan Williams, CCTV, Cape Town.